In this video, we're going to be looking at Interpretive Phenomenological Analysis, or IPA for short. IPA is an approach interested in understanding people's lived experience and how they make sense of it. And it involves in-depth qualitative data collection and analysis. Smith et al. define IPA as a method designed to understand people's lived experience and how they make sense of it in the context of their personal and social worlds. IPA supports the exploration of how participants make sense of a given situation or experience in context. Therefore, IPA is concerned with understanding the person in context and exploring individuals relatedness to or involvement with the world. When it comes to defining what IPA actually constitutes, this can be a little bit challenging as debate exists as to whether IPA is an approach, method, research design or analysis procedure. Well, of course, it could involve several of these elements. As you can see, IPA has analysis in the name, so it prescribes a particular approach to analysing data, which is focused on interpretation. And within Smith et al's definition that we just looked at, they call IPA a method. IPA also has feminology in the name, so as could be assumed, it relates and aligns neatly with the research philosophy of feminology. As part of the module the videos are being developed for, I have positioned IPA as a research design, as this is where it fitted most neatly within the curriculum. But authors and scholars refer to IPA in different ways. So what is the focus of IPA? Well, IPA focuses on lived experience and meaning. Use of rigorous, rich, resonant description. And is commonly concerned with existential issues. And there is an assumption that the body and world is intertwined. IPA offers the opportunity to get an in-depth and detailed understanding of what an experience has been like for an individual and how they make sense of it. It could be particularly appropriate when the experiences being studied are of importance to participants because of course then they're more likely to be willing to share those experiences in depth. Engaging in IPA can facilitate researchers to construct insightful interpretive accounts of experiences. Peter Tao suggests that IPA researchers commonly believe that participants' experiences cannot be simply revealed but a process of rich engagement and interpretation involving both the researcher and research participant is required. This means that the researcher needs to be actively involved in trying to make sense of the participants making sense of their worlds. IPA seeks to explore an individual's personal perception or account of an event or state, as opposed to attempting to produce an objective record of the event or state itself. This focus and emphasis can limit direct cross-comparisons between the cases of participants. It has been suggested that a common misconception of IPA is that it involves general qualitative thematic analysis, but actually it involves a higher level of interpretation in the analysis. Therefore, it's not just a case of following simple 
qualitative analytical principles, but it needs its own unique set of exploration and interpretation within the data set. When it comes to sampling, IPA commonly draws on accounts from a relatively small number of people. For example, Reed et al has suggested that 6 is a good number, but 3 to 15 is acceptable. Given the focused and particularistic nature of IPA, sampling is normally achieved through purposive sampling, carefully selecting participants based on their ability to offer meaningful insights into the topic being researched. This can lead to homogeneous sampling. For IPA data collection, the depth of the data collected is particularly important. Interviews and participant diaries are common data collection methods used within IPA. Although when it comes to interviews, in order to achieve the required depth, often numerous interviews are required and the phenomenon might be studied over a longitudinal period of time. Within IPA interviews, the interviewer is more likely to adopt a curious and facilitative tone rather than a challenging and an interrogative tone in order to try and facilitate depth and the participant's own voice within the interview. So to conclude, IPA is concerned with how participants make sense of a given situation or experience in context. It emphasises the use of rigorous, rich, resonant description to understand lived experience and meaning. IPA requires a process of rich engagement and interpretation by the researcher. IPA does not seek to provide an objective record of an event or situation which limits comparison and generalizability. And as the name suggests, IPA aligns well with the research philosophy of feminology. <laughs>